fight. I want to make it to the light. Please make it all right. And ain't nobody but you taking my life. Because I know not many do make it through the fight. But there still are many who walk with your grace. Because I know of plenty who walk with your face. In their minds and their hearts with the word on their lips. But still stray from the herd. I'm sure you've heard how it gets. Because the word is a gift that'll break any yoke, stronghold, or bond down to a third of its strength. When you're free in the name of Jesus, you're free indeed. All you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. All things Ooh. are possible through Christ who strengthens me. It's my destiny to be the best I can be to give you the best of me. And of you, Father God, to fill him even more with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Lift him up, Father God. Lift him up on the ashes of the ground, Father God. The devil is a liar, Father God. liar. I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cut it. All right, you just start straight, start this video off. R.I.P. to my dog, D.M.X. I don't know for y'all do that don't follow me on Twitter, but that's, that's my favorite rapper, man. This video is about my thoughts on the Lamar thing, just some interesting stuff, but just R.I.P., man. Passed away today, April 9th, 2021. R.I.P. to D.M.X. So my thoughts on Lamar. So Lamar changed his profile picture on Instagram. I can't believe my dog gone, y'all. Uh, man. But Lamar changed his picture on Instagram to a picture of him burning like a newspaper. You just see playoff games. So we already know the narrative of can't win playoff games. Then we see him grinding it out, working with A.B. and um, Hollywood. But one of the things I thought about when I saw that was like, you know, he's different. He's different. Um, respect to the elite Joe Flacco, but we didn't we didn't see this. We didn't see Twitter was still around. Instagram was still around. Freaking the media was still around. And that's what I'm talking about was the media, but we didn't see Joe doing this. We didn't see Joe putting in there where he probably could have been doing it behind the scenes. But I remember seeing multiple times him saying not working with the wide receivers in the off season until Lamar came. If I'm wrong, somebody put that in the comments. Show me what article that is. Cause that that's what I remember hearing is him finally working with the wide receivers in the off season when Lamar came, when that threat happened. But I just find it interesting that the media just like brought that up about Lamar's. Oh, he he's sending a message in that. Yes, but he's been sending a message since he got that start. He's been sending a message since he was in high school. He played every position they showed, and and when he was in Pop Warner and all of that stuff, and he sent the message in high school. He only went to people that was going to, he was only going to go to a school that was going to have him as a quarterback. And what he do? He went to that school, Louie. Then he said the same thing in the draft. They gave him a narrative that they give a lot of athletes that's black, that can do multiple things. They try to dig them as a wide receiver, and the man sat there and won a Heisman as a quarterback. Literally beat, beat Florida State by himself, pretty much. One man show as a quarterback. And the media continually try to beat this man down. But he was raised by a strong woman. His dad passed away younger. His dad raised him right as well, but he continually beat the naysayers. He continually beat the haters. And that's really what we all have to do ourselves is continually disregard the haters. Don't even feed off that energy. I think 50 Cent said that in one of his, in one of his, um, one of his songs keep giving me hate because it's feeding me. But 
Then Lamar, he posted out another picture. Pretty much, I'm, I'm going to put it up so those who want to read it, you can you know pause the video and read it. But it was just a positive message. I, I was raised in a neighborhood that was fight every day, pretty much. Drug population, gang activity, stuff like that. And he posted a message of no matter where you're raised, poor, everything, just keep the narrative of working hard. Don't do the drugs. Find if if it's a way out, it's sports. And a lot of athletes, podcasts, everybody, some sports or something other than going down that road where you can end up in jail. Did they bring this up? That he posted that? Did the media bring this up? He posted that positive message? No. Because they couldn't have a story of something very positive. And they do this not with just Lamar. They do this with a lot of a lot of people just in general. They try to continually feed us negative things. I know y'all it was like, man, Raven see this is a sports thing. Yeah, this is my sports channel. I'm working on the gaming channel. Working on it, but it's just the fact that sometimes I get to a point where it just gets frustrating, y'all. You know, just you see so much negativity, and it's just like, why? We all ain't gonna be on here this earth that long. Look, my, my man DMX passed away at 50 years old, had a hard life. Did some things wrong, but went back on the right track. Had a heart attack. So what I'm just saying really is just that I love y'all. Look in the mirror. Love yourself. Love your family. Love your friends. Just tell everybody that you love them, man. Cause tomorrow's never promised. I make sure I tell my wife that, and my kids that every day. You just never know. My family that I make sure they know. You never know when God's gonna call you. And so everybody, let's just try to stay positive. Let's have some little pettiness every now and then, just for fun. But make sure that person knows it's just for fun. There's nothing serious about that. Stay safe. God bless. See y'all next time.